Hello and welcome to another Z Hut Design Spark Mechanical tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at um, how to convert an STL file into a solid in Design Spark Mechanical so we can modify it. So let's just get right into this. So I got Design Spark Mechanical open here. So what we'll first do is we'll go to File, go to New, and click on New Design. Open that up. Then we want to navigate to the file, the STL file that we want to modify. So I've got it right here, and I'm just going to drag it right in. And there's the file I want to modify. This is a GoPro holder for my Anycubic i3 Mega uh, 3D printer. But uh, I downloaded this off of Thingiverse and I want to modify it. I didn't quite like its design. So what you have with an STL file is it, it breaks everything into triangles so that you can use it with lots of different other applications. It knows how to read it. And if you just try to modify it as it is, so I'll select pull here and just select one of the faces. And when you go to pull it, um, it is not doing what you would normally want it to do. And that's because, well, it's an STL file, it's all in triangles. We need to do is convert this into a solid. So let me undo that. So what I'll do is I'll right click on any face, go to convert solid, and then you wanna select merge faces. Bam, there you go. Now one little tiny drawback is any rounded area, you will have to go and redraw that if you need it to completely round to modify it. But for most circumstances, you should be able to do the modifications you need. So I'll do another pull here. We'll click on this face and make it a little taller. You see, now it works the way that we'd expect it to work. So if you need to modify any of the holes, um, I would just you know select the face and uh, go to the plane and then just from the center of that circle redraw it, pull it through. Not a lot of work. Um, it is a little trickier on like the rounded edges and stuff, but hey, this is the way to bring an STL file into Design Spark Mechanical and modify it. As far as I know, this is the only way to do it. Uh, if you know of another way, um, heck, if you know of a way where you can get this all to come out rounded, um, throw uh, a comment in the comments there. I appreciate it and I make sure it's uh, passed on and shared with the other people that subscribe and watch these videos. So with that we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So I would like to thank you for joining us here today. Um, I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you here again on a future episode of the Z Huts Design Spark Mechanical Tutorials.